Hey guys, how you doing? Sorry for the mess this weekend. I am going to be fixing stuff. Yeah. Hopefully you're going to have a better backdrop. Even if I just put up a piece of <laughs> like a sheet of plywood, that's kind of what I'm going for. But we have an unboxing to do tonight. So this is going to be fun. I've actually been waiting for this for a while. Do, 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 do. Hey, how you doing, Richard? How's everybody's week? They just have a good week because today is my Friday. So I am quite pleased. Marcus, how you doing, sir? Yeah, I, I'm really happy. I, I have off um, until Monday. So I have a three-day weekend without a loss of money. So that that's fabulous. I'm loving it. I got some news about some stuff that happened to the truck nothing bad um i have an unboxing to do which isn't anything bad so that's a good thing realized my address has been on the box the whole time so people might know where i live now um let's see Pretty good. Where's Courtney? Um, she's still at work. Tonight is her late night. Um, one of the reasons why I changed my live stream to Thursdays is kind of the reason why Gear changed his. Uh, it just, it really broke up the weekend just when I was getting ready to go back to work, you know, and also my view count was down. So, you know, I, I'm kind of trying another day. Uh, we'll see what happens. But Courtney's working a late night tonight and come to find out her late nights are Thursdays. So I guess that means she won't be on many live streams, but she should be getting home around seven ish. So it shouldn't be that bad. All right, that, that's fine, Richard. You know, if you make people mad, you got to make it right. So, you know, do what you got to do. Don't worry about it. We're good here. So, like um, like the title says, I have a lathe mod. So, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, there's a, a couple things that I, uh, that I needed. So... I want to see if a notification went out because do, 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 do. I have two people, so I want to see if a notification went out. Let me see. Did um, I guess Marcus? I guess you got a notification, right? Yeah, and it says I'm live right there. So, yep, I'm right there. Okay, so it'll take a little bit. I know that um, I know this is a dinner time too, but I also didn't want to be too late because you know how it is. Um, so basically, um, it since I know you follow me on IG, I got my new tires and my lift, and boy, let me tell you, it it's ridiculous how how much bigger the truck is. Let me see if I can pull up a picture of it. Do, 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 do. Um, that's how big my truck is. That's my mirror. So <laughs> uh, it, it definitely uh, got a little bit bigger than I thought it would. But either way, I still love it. 
So do you have any plans for uh, Easter? Yeah, Easter is the holiday this weekend, right? Do you have any plans for it? Or uh, are you guys just like winging it, family time? What's going on with you guys for uh, the holiday? Me, I'm going to be working, especially now that I got this in. So, <laughs> oh, we got three people. Who's number three? There he is. There's Gear. Hey, Gear, how you doing? Um, Easter's in three days, uh, Richard. Uh, oh, family coming down from California. That. That sounds good. You have any plans or is it just going to be like Easter dinner, maybe like church, hang out, you know, eat all weekend, get fat kind of thing? Or is there like a actual game plan? Because I know normally around the holidays, I like to just like graze all weekend because, you know, I have nothing to do. That's my excuse to not do anything. So how about you, Gear? What, what are you doing for Easter? Ah, Easter dinner says Marcus. That that sounds good. I don't know what I'm having for Easter dinner. What are you having? Because me, I love ham for Easter. But here's the thing: I can't eat pork anymore, and I'm not gonna have like a big chunk of tofu sitting in my oven either. So I got to try and figure out what I can do because I don't feel like suffering through it. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely um. I've been one, wanting ham or like a pulled pork sandwich or, or something like that. And I just can't do it. Um, I just found out that my sister is going to have a baby boy. Well, congratulations to your sister. Um, is he going to be string bean junior? Just wondering. And by the way, Richard, are you named, are you a junior or are you just, um, or did your parents just name you Richard? Because I'm not a junior, but my brother is. So I was actually named after an actor. Go figure. Hey, it is what it is. I guess Gear just came back. I, I think he got lost. Um, I forgot it was Easter. Uh, I'm on school vacation right now. You know, isn't that great when you're in school? You get that vacation. Like, we don't get vacation. We get off like a Friday. I mean, we can take vacation, but, you know, I, I remember go, like, going to school. It's like, oh, it's going to be Easter break and you get off like eight days and then Christmas break is like 12 days. And then you have all these half days in there for like flag day and everything. Now you work all them days. It's not fair. Enjoy it while you can, Marcus. Trust me. I know I will be. Going to enjoy my one extra day. And it's without the wife, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, Marcus, I seen that you have a foam cannon. What foam foam cannon do you have? I guess that's what you used on the GMC. It was a GMC, right? Um, String bean said, um, Boise City. How you doing, Dan? Welcome. Um, String Bean, congratulations. I guess we're going to have to call you Uncle String Bean now. There you go. Just as long as we're not making him say uncle. We don't want to bully anyone. Dan, I do have a three-year-old niece. All right, well, there you go, Uncle Bean. There you go. We'll call him Uncle Bean. There it is. Uncle Bean. Or... Uncle Captain Stringbean, maybe. That that might that'll come in handy, Richard. 
running around with your cape with the nieces and nephews, they'll get a kick out of it. It's not just the ladies. <laughs> call me whatever you want. I'll uh, see. We were told that we can't call you certain names. There's only one person that can call you certain names. So, but I'm just going to call you Richard because that's who you are. Richard or Rich. I actually have a cousin named Richard. He's like the second or the third. So let me see. Did your owner says I'm back. A guy called me about a car. I'm inquiring about buying. Oh, well, that's good. It's about time someone called you back. <laughs> um, Dan, what have you been up to, says uh, Mr. Bean or Richard? Sounds like my cats are fighting upstairs. So how was it driving the Roush today, Gear? And parking it next to a tree? A little bit daring, if you might ask, you know, for my taste, at least. Um, yes, it's the Adams foam cannon. It works good. My truck costs a lot of money. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Mine does too. And I actually have the Adams foam cannon too. Um, do you have the regular or the pro version? Actually, my Adams has a different name. Uh, it was made by Torque. Was yours made by Torque? This is the one I got. Actually, mine's a chemical, guys, but sorry. Almost the same, but I do know that Torque, um, let me see. If you can see, yeah, right there. I know that Torque makes it for a couple, um, there's a couple companies that make it. So for like chemical guys, Adams polishes, and there's a few other companies that Torque makes it for also. But man, I'm telling you, that coats my truck in literally like two minutes. And that's if I'm tripping over the hose. That thing is ridiculous. And I, I can coat the car two or three times easy with it, just in that one canister. I love that thing. Um. Richard says, I've just been running around on YouTube and my girlfriend don't want to talk to me anymore. Well, I guess that means she's not your girlfriend then, sir. Just pointing out the obvious. All right. Well, I think we might start digging into this box because I have a, I actually have a few things in here that I'm really excited about. Um, one thing is... Uh, something I've needed for a long time. So let's get into it. Let's see what we got here. Try not to cut myself. Aha, packaging. Good thing it's recycling day because the box looks like it's full of it. Um, String Bean says she's mad at me because I told another girl in a stream to tell me to shut. Ah, there's always another one. Don't worry about it. All right. Let's get this out of here. So now, like I said, the whole box is all lathe accessories so this is something that i have definitely been wanting and what it basically is is a tool rest it's a slightly larger tool rest if i can get it out of the bag so you guys have seen me using a tool rest before um, 
Uh, that's all right, Marcus. Um, so as you can see, this one is contoured. And it also, if you look right here on the end, if it'll focus on it right there, that's actually a piece of hardened rod. So it's not going to wear and it's not going to ding and dent. And also as you're using the tools and you run your hand down the side of it, you can have your hand here, here, and it's kind of like a comfort fit and it, it's a lot better than my other one. I can't wait to use this. This is going to be great. So I really needed that. So that's mod modish number one. And that goes in that box over there. And that one will have to wait for a second. And that box can wait for a second. And that one. And that one. Uh, that's all right, dear. Don't worry about it. And I got all this stuff from Craft Supply USA. Now, this is one that I definitely needed because of a boo-boo. And I was hoping TW would be able to make it, but I know this time of day is a little rough for him. So, here's what we got. What these are, let me get another one. These are what they call jumbo jaws. And that's kind of how they are. So I can put them on and expand them out like normal jaws. So what this is going to allow me to do is this bowl that the bottom kind of blew out on when I was turning it because I had it running a little too fast, which by the way, be careful guys. Um, I'll now be able to mount this bowl like this so that I'll be able to return the bottom to be able to get it back in the chuck. And I should have had a set of these a long time ago. So I'm going to be really happy to be able to use these, especially with that, um, if you guys remember that video, um, this is a rough bowl, that maple bowl. That's kind of how I'm going to be mounting that one to re-true up the bottom so I can get it mounted in the chuck. So that's one big thing. Uh, Marcus says, hey, gear. And Richard says, gear runner, at least you have a lady to talk to and I don't. Richard, don't get hung up on it. It's fine. Uh, sorry, Bean, what happened? Uh, anything that makes life easier is pretty awesome. Yes. That's, this is going to make my, it's going to make my life so much e easier. And that's what this thing was for to start with. This is actually an insert. This is what I was excited about. Um, I had to wait for this one to get shipped in because it doesn't come from locally. And this is what I got. I finally broke down and bought a new chuck. It's not that my other one was bad, but if I'm turning these big 14, 15, 16 inch bowls, I need something that I can hold a little bit more than a three inch diameter on. So, So I went out and I got myself the best chuck on the market for wood turners. And why do I say that? Other than the fact that A, they've been rated the best chuck for wood turners by a lot of different places, not including a lot of wood turners. They love them. I remember using these chucks when I worked and also this company, um, 
one of the lathes that I used to use when I worked at the metal shop was made by this company. So I know that they're tried and true. So let's see what we got here. Um, first thing is, it is operated by it's operated by an Allen key. So you can see this is much more comfortable, a lot better than that other little rickety thing that I have. You know, it works, it does a good job, but for larger pieces, I definitely needed a bigger, a bigger, uh, bigger something. So, uh, Gear Runner says hi to Marcus. Uh, String Bean says, Gear, I told another girl on a stream to tell me to shut up and it made my girlfriend mad. Well, don't make her mad and she won't leave you. So, let's see what we got here. Man, this thing came in packaged really well. All right. And don't need that. So here you are, guys. Now, you guys have seen my other Chuck. Look at this bad boy. This thing is definitely a work of art. Um, Vicmark, this is made by Vicmark. Vicmark makes some of the best, I guess you can say, lathe, um, lathe parts, lathe rests, lathe tool holders. Whatever you're looking for, Vicmark does a great job at it, not only for wood, but also for metal. I used to love the Vicmark lathe that I ran at the machine shop it was great the speeds were nice and that it was just nice and uh smooth everything about it um but the main reason why i got this off you can see the back is sealed you're not getting any dirt in there so this chuck actually works two ways And if you guys can see how the chuck, how you, I can close it, and then in one rotation, I can fully open this chuck. Or I key in, and you see how it closes slowly with me turning it? So that is the one huge thing, because, like, say I'm holding this huge bowl up in the air. And now that it's locked, it won't move. So now I can use it with just the hand crank. So if I have a heavy piece that I'm trying to hold up, I can get it up there and I can just turn it and it'll hold it for me. This is going to make a huge difference. I can't wait to use it. And it's heavy, it's going to hold momentum, it's going to be a wonderful asset. Um, the first piece that I pulled out was actually, this is the threaded insert that goes into the back of the chuck. And then the inside threads that I don't, you guys probably can't see, that matches the spindle on my lathe. So this is going to be amazing to use i can't wait and those jaws are made specifically for this but look i ordered more stuff from vicmark so what did i get um let's see what we got here um uh if she's jealous being you definitely don't need her buddy i fully agree um, gear, this girl was special because she sends me pics of her that I can say on that I can't say on her or edges with tie me out. Exactly. But you know what? Pictures aren't everything. You need to get to know the person up here before you get to know the person down there. Let's put it that way. So 
And remember, easy isn't always the best route to go. Sometimes the hard way is the right way. No pun intended. Um, Marcus says, I have to go to McDonald's. I'm hungry. Going to remote startup, the GMC Denali. Four-wheel drive. Um, just letting you know, Marcus, you didn't have to add the four-wheel drive in there. Rob's not here. Yeah, I don't think Rob's here. But if he shows up, you have to add that four-wheel drive back in. Um, Gear says, still not worth it, Bean. Chad, how you doing, sir? Welcome back. He says, hello. Gear says, hello. So, <laughs> Marcus says, I thought he was. <laughs> That's funny. So, here we are. I have another box from Vicmark. And if any of you guys are interested, this is a Vicmark uh, 150. It's the biggest and newest lathe, um, lathe chuck that they make. So... I didn't need the biggest and the best, but I definitely needed one that had larger capacity. And for a little bit more money to have have the best, it was worth it. So here we are. These jaws, this is another set of jaws. These are about the same size, a little bit bigger than the ones on my other, my other chuck. But the reason I got these is because this chuck opens up further than the other one. So where the other one only opened up from like two to three, this one will open up from like two to three and a half or like two and a quarter to three and a half. Um, I think I actually got the two and a half to four. So that's going to be another awesome addition to this wonderful uh my wonderful new Chuck. And look, we have yet again another box from Vicmark. Vicmark's going to love me. I knew that they made stuff for woodworking, but I didn't exactly know what. And then I was talking to um, one of my favorite wood turners, and it, uh, her name's Ashley Harwood. And she, she does amazing things on a lathe. Um, and quite frankly, half the time she doesn't even watch what she's doing. She just makes stuff. Um, but these are another, another set of jaws, which as you can see, they'll open up, you know, and this will be what I'll use for some of these bigger bowls to, so that way I can make, um, like a bigger base on them instead of doing a recess, I can actually make a, a foot on it. Then when I get done making it, I can put it in the big jaws and then I can just skim the edge of it down and make it a nice like rounded base. And it'll be a lot easier than the way I had to do it for the bowls that I made for Rob and his mom. So this is gonna make my life so much easier having this chuck and having multiple sets of jaws and having multiple chucks, quite frankly. Um, I'll be able to do, have it set up for two different operations and I'll be able to do production work now. It, it's gonna make things a lot better. And, and with something like this, doing a big bowl, like what I was doing with um, Rob and the one that I'm doing for TW now, it's just gonna be safer also. So I can't wait to get these um, get these put on. Um, yes, gear there. <laughs> not cheap, not cheap at all. Um, this chuck was almost 400. That little chuck I use is like 260. So, I mean, rather than getting a few other sets of jaws, it just makes it, um, it's a lot nicer to have a scrolling chuck and to be able to have a, Quick adjust chuck. I mean, it, it's worth it. I mean, the chuck weighs almost seven pounds. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Um, let's see, where was I? Uh, Chad said hi to Gear. Gear says they look pricey. They definitely are, but they are worth their money. Trust me, worth their money. 
Um, Stream Bean says Rob is going to wish his taco had four wheel drive. He always does. Uh, Stream Bean says Edge, um, you still liking the Makita tools? Actually, I am. I, I really do like the grip is really comfortable in the subcompact. And for me, I don't really need anything much bigger than that. Um, I'm not out there doing hardcore construction. It, it does what I needed. And it's in a small compact unit. So it works great for me. Um, Eddie, how you doing, Eddie? Uh, Eddie says, hi, Eddie, every day. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, sir. How about you and the family? Um, Gear Runner says, hey, Eddie, what's up, buddy? String says, hey, Eddie. Hey, Marcus, there's Rob. Tell me about your four-wheel drive. Uh, Marcus says, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. I will do that. I kind of can't do it right now, but I will do that. Um, Eddie Smallhorn says, hello, String Bean. How are you doing? Uh, he's brokenhearted right now. Um, Rob Motive says, hey, you bud. At dinner, I uh, just wanted to say, hey. Hey, Rob, I thought you... I thought you had dinner on Fridays. Just wondering. Gear Runner says, hey, Rob, what's for dinner? Eddie says, hey, at Gear Runner, uh, did you get the run today? Yeah, um, what's your exercise uh, regimen looking like, Gear? Because you chopped all your wood. So let's see what happens. Um, String Bean says, Eddie, I am 50% better. All right. Sounds good. Eddie says, yo, Rob, how's it going? Gear Runner says, nope, Eddie, I had two teeth filled today. Ah, uh, well, that sucks there, buddy. Uh, the running you could have done was away from the dentist. Just saying. Rob Motive says, steak, baked tater, green beans, and rolls. That sounds good to me. Uh, Marcus says, just came back with my GMC Sierra Denali four-wheel drive from McDonald's. Did you get a sweet tea? And how'd the four-wheel drive handle for you? Gear Runner says, uh, just got you, Marcus. Dink. Stream Bing says, Rob, Tacoma, thumbs down. Oh, come on. It, it's a really nice looking Tacoma. It is. And I've said it before, for what he uses it for, it's ideal. You know, he's not in Ohio anymore, so he really doesn't need the four-wheel drive. Be nice to have though. The resale value would be there. Maybe not in Texas though. Um, Eddie says, at least you are on the plus side, string bean. Definitely. I fully agree. Uh, Gear had grilled hot dogs. You know what, Gear? I really don't like hot dogs. But I got to say, every once in a while, you just really get the feeling like you want a grilled hot dog. I don't know. Uh, Marcus says, thank you, Gear. Eddie says, yikes, at Gear. And let's see, Gear says, I run a couple miles, uh, four sets of push-ups, and, um, and around 10 minutes of abs. Yeah, closest thing I get to 10 minutes of abs is, um, I don't know, trying to get out of bed in the morning, rolling back and forth. Uh, Marcus says, I had it in two-wheel drive. Um, when it rains, I put it in auto or four-wheel drive. There you go. You know, I used my old truck. I had to put in four-wheel drive in the rain because it just spun tires left and right. But I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that now with my uh, new truck and the tires I got on there now. I, I, I think we'll be good. Um, gears, uh, String Bean says, Gear, can you lift 100 pounds of weights? Um, I can. Um, that's how I felt today. Uh, yep, Bean says, Gear. Eddie says, I need to do the other stuff at Gear Runner. You know what? I need to do any of the stuff, quite frankly. Uh, the, the most exercise I get is um, jumping to conclusions, running off my mouth, and... Uh, you know, I mean, that, that, that's really about it. So I, I need to do something. But I can tell you working in the shop more often now, I, I feel like I'm getting in better shape because I am a little bit more than my normal day-to-day -day grind stuff. So that's going to be good. 
Uh, Gear Runner says probably closer to 200 beans. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, you should be able to lift your weight, I, I think. At least to some, you know, some capacity, even if it's like picking it up off the floor and moving it, you know. Uh, Gear Runner says Christina wouldn't like that, Eddie. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. String Bean says, Gear, I picked up a 100-pound log, and I throw them in a pile in the yard. Now, now, Richard, do you weigh them and then throw them so that you know, or do you, are your hands calibrated? Just wondering. Uh, Eddie's smiling at Gear. So, guys, as you guys know, um, I, did, I did get new tires for my truck. And a lot of people are asking me, why did I not get wheels? Um, quite frankly, I've, I love my chrome. So since I like my chrome, I'm not going to get rid of my chrome wheels and just to buy more chrome wheels. Not to mention, I want my truck to look, you know, very stockish, shall I say. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I didn't get new wheels. And that's why I didn't get wider tires. I tried staying with the stock width. So that way it looked kind of stock. But I will tell you, I'm loving them tires. Uh, my truck is a lot higher than I thought it would be, though. <laughs> Just saying. Um, Eddie, Eddie said something I've already read. Gear Runner says Pam's already in the bed. But she works weird hours with her job, though, doesn't she, Gear? Um, what sucks is the car I inquired about today will need new tires. But guess what? You can now you can put new new wheels and new tires on it and make it the way you want it. Just saying. Um, but I, I feel you on the whole tire thing. I I just drop 1600 on tires so i understand trust me tires are not cheap um but yeah i i really like it uh gear says pam's been waking up at like 1 a.m and hasn't been able to get back to sleep you know what that really sucks and tell her i i'm sorry and you know, I wish there was something I could do, but normally when I wake up at 1 a.m., I either say, A, I'm going to get up, make myself a good breakfast and go to work and get paid for the time I'm awake, or B, I take another sleep and go and go to sleep. You know, it works. But I, I know she needs to be alert when she goes to work the next day, So, and her hours are all over the place, so yeah. Um. I will probably leave the wheels until I get it paid off. Probably a good good idea. Unless, of course, the channel, whatever you get, it's really loved by the channel, and then you can afford to do it. But I'm sure you would just pay it off rather than doing a lot of big stuff. So I understand that, too. Um, I will negotiate the price down to reflect the tire price. There you go. See? If it's for, let's say the car is 10,000, say, listen, it needs new tires, put new tires on it, or can um, we work the work out a deal to lower it because I'm going to need it. So there you go. You know, smart thinking there, buddy. Um, I would like to get another car because I realized that now I'm not even getting 10 MPG going back and forth to work with my truck. Yeah, it, it kind of hurts a little. Um, I'm, I'm getting like, I'm averaging about 9 to 9.2 MPG in the truck going back and forth to work. So, but I reset it when I went to the doctor's this afternoon. And driving down a highway for a long distance, I got 14 and a half. But I don't drive that far. I drive two miles to work and I go through six red lights. So that's not that great. Um, Gear says true and holy crap. I'm guessing that's about my MPG. Yeah, it, it sucks. I, I seriously drive a hundred, like a hundred yards, stop, 
drive 100 yards, stop, drive 100 yards, stop, drive 200 yards, stop, drive 300 yards, pull into my work. It, it really sucks. Um, Marcus says, I didn't get a notification from Gear Runner subscribing to my channel. I, he's in stealth mode. Don't worry about it. He did it. I promise. Um, Gear Runner says, I get around 12 back and forth to work, and I get about 14.5. Um, 14.5 as well. Uh, yeah, but your job that you go back and forth to work, you're not starting and stopping all the time, are you? And I think you, it, it might be a short distance, but in my short distance, I seriously, I stop like six or seven times almost every morning. It sucks. So, and if I take the highway, it start, stop, start, stop, move forward, stop, hit, hit the light three. It, it's horrible. But guys, I have an appointment on the 29th. I completely forgot about this. I have an appointment on the 29th to take my truck into the shop. Um, gear says it's uphill a lot though. Um, that's what kills my MPG. Yeah, I, I believe that. Yeah, I really do. Um, my truck is going into the, uh, you have four stop signs. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Um, I have red lights and like bumper to bumper traffic. It, it's horrible. Um, so it's going in because remember that sensor issue that I had? Well, it's back and it, it's like in full force today going to work. Every time I stopped, the sensor went off, uh, my parking sensor for the passenger front. So it's going in. They said they're going to replace that one and they're going to recalibrate all my sensors since now I have a lift. And they're saying that's the reason why I'm like, no, really? How about this um, video that I took about a month and a half ago before I had my lift? He's like, okay, the sensor's bad. We'll replace it, recalibrate the whole thing anyway. So that's going to be good. They're also going to replace my hub bearing because remember they were saying, oh, it's your tires. You know, you need to get new tires and then that'll be fixed. <laughs> Guess what? Not fixed. When I drive, I get the it's not the tires. It's the hub bearing, just like I told them. Um, yeah, you know what gear? And it's funny. The whole, the only reason I tolerated it all the way to work is because I videoed myself going all the way to work and showing that it, you know, every time I stopped it happened and, you know, so, but I will have them off now because I can't even trust it as a parking sensor because it always goes off. Um, but they're going to replace the hub bearing because, you know, now they believe me, which I mean, the service manager believed me before, but he's like, listen, we, we have channels we got to go through. So, and they're going to check the rear axle. They're going to check to see if I have any metal in my rear diff. If I do, they're going to replace the rear axle and my pinion gear. And that will also get me a new hub bearing in the back also. So, and probably a new backing plate. So that's going to be fun. So the right side of my truck is going to be rebuilt, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, so I, I'm happy. You know, I, I went out, the guy came out, he's like, so this isn't a stock truck, is it? I said, nope, but everything's within warranty guidelines. <laughs> and they're like, okay, good. Good to hear. Looks good. Like it. So I, I'll be happy to get all that fixed. And they, they scheduled me with a loaner right away. Um, and, and gear, I, I don't know why they didn't, they didn't even give me the whole runaround about, oh, well this and that, because they, they kind of know me at the dealership. So when I told them, I'm like, you know, I'm going to need a loaner. First thing they did was they went over to the loaner place and they said, when are loaners coming back? When's one available? And they said, we'll put you right into a loaner. So I'm happy about that. So once that gets done. My truck's basically going to be done. Um, I'm looking at possibly LED headlights, possibly. And I'm also, I'm definitely going to get a spray and bed liner, definitely. But I'm going to move all the crap out of my other house first and move it over here 
beat up the plastic POS one, and then I'm going to get the spray and bed liner when I'm not going to be doing a lot of that heavy moving and, you know, that kind of crap. So, and I'm going to get all LED interior lights also. But I'm not sure what color I'm going to, I'm, I might be going with a different color, honestly. Um, Gear Runner said, did he say if one of the channels he was going through was Gear Runner? Ah, no, definitely not. Um, and it's funny. My video didn't <laughs> didn't really help you at your dealership, but I walk in, I show it to them, and they, you know how you drive into the dealership, they have the clipboard, and they're like, okay, so what's wrong? He basically put the clipboard under his arm, we walk back inside. So, <laughs> and that's what I mean. Uh, and honestly, the dealership that I go to is the same one, um, one of the same ones that um, TD34 goes through. Um, one of the big things... I, I'm not sure if that's where he gets his press vehicles from, but I know he does do a lot of stuff through them. That's uh, who does a lot of his service. So, I mean, my, my dealership is great. I go in, my salesman sees me going into the service department, comes over, shakes my hand. How you doing? How's everything going? You know, how you enjoying the truck? I get calls from my salesman. Hey, just checking in. How's the truck doing? Like every two to three months. It'll probably go to six months, then a year now, and then it'll probably be when do you want to trade it in. But um, the dealership I go to is awesome, and it's right in my town, so it, it's great. Uh, Gear says his dealership sucks, and Eddie retracted a message that said, oh, no. But, yeah, I know why it happened. It's because I hit a pothole. It, it's not like a Tundra issue or anything like that or neglect i just hit a pothole at night and ever since then it acted up so uh gear runner says my salesman didn't work there three days after i bought my truck well that's probably because of the deal you got just saying um I, I, you got a good deal on your truck though i gotta say you did get a good deal so I think I'm going to go get in my shop now. I want to get this bad boy mounted. And I want to play with it. Uh, and he Smallhorn says there's so much turnover at dealerships. There, there really is. Unless you're in like the customer service aspect of it as just like a basic CSR. Or if you're in the service department, it, it's normally not that bad. Service writers come and go. Um, but and normally techs kind of stay there too. But I, I got to tell you, if you're in the front of house for dealerships, yeah, it, you might as well, you know, just, you know, constantly look for another job. I mean, that, that's seriously how it is. So um eddie smallhorn says my gear runner have an awesome easter gear runner says have a good one eddie and um i've been on for almost 50 minutes it, it was a slow night courtney will be home she actually texted me she's on her way home so i'm going to go act like i've been making dinner and then i'm going to go play in my shop so guys thank you very much for stopping in I will be doing a full review on this bad boy. And I have a couple other reviews I, that I have to get edited. I still have about 15 videos I have to do. Um, you too, Eddie. He says, have a great Easter, everyone. Hope you enjoy. Enjoy time with the family. So I, I have a lot of stuff that I got to get done. I Tomorrow I'm off of work. So hopefully I can get a few videos edited. I'll schedule them out, schedule them out a few days apart. And I want to definitely get a review done on this one um, because I, I can't wait to get this thing into play. It's going to be great. So, guys, hope you all enjoyed and enjoyed everything that I got because uh, I know I will. And have a nice Easter. Everybody have a nice uh, weekend. We're supposed to have kind of decent weather. So, guys, 
enjoy and i'll see you on the next one and enjoy your holiday hopefully you get an extra day off so see you later everybody have a nice night bye